We need you right now. We need you to speak a word. I can't need the word this morning. God, I thank you for sunrise. I thank you for the word that's been spoken. Oh, God, build on your word. Send what your people need, God. But we'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. of something All right. in exchange for payment. All right. So I want something and I got to get it back or it belongs to me. I got to gain it. I got to get it. But it costs something. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. So many times in our life, we live our life, we're trying to get houses and we're trying to get this and cars and nice clothes and red bottle shoes. Hallelujah. Praise Come on. Him. But what we really need to be trying to gain uh -huh. is a relationship with Christ Jesus. Right, what we right. really need to be getting, listen, we need to be redeeming some time, spending it, investing it in relationship with God. Right. I'm talking to you this morning about what's important. I want you to understand the reason is we're talking about being redeemed because somebody redeemed us. Right. You, 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 me, you, and you, somebody how many of y'all know who that somebody was? Right. Oh, somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus redeemed us. Yeah. He paid a price none of us could pay. Amen. Listen, if we could have paid, we wouldn't have been willing. Oh, let, let me just talk about Pastor Vanessa. I wouldn't have been willing to die for the master. All right. Maybe it might be a few I figure I could die for. Not too many outside of the, my four and no more. Come on, somebody. All right. All right. But he went to the cross for every single one of us. Everyone who spit on him, everyone who said backbite, everyone who did anything wrong, no matter what, he still did it. He still did it, even though we told him, like, even though we refused to obey him. Come on, somebody. Right, he right. still did it. He still paid the price for us. And I don't know about you, but I'm so glad. That's why I'm here to celebrate. That's why I came today to let somebody know I am the redeemed of the Lord. And I and he didn't just redeem us to just say I paid price for him. All right. All right. Show not, show not. See, it says, you know, when we're talking about redemption, we're talking about to obtain, to make amends for something. How many of y'all know we needed somebody to make amends for us? Yes, that's right. All right. Right? We need somebody to make amends for all the things we said and done. Listen, not what we what we did in the past. But even what we will do. Right. He yeah. redeemed us from what we will do. Come on, somebody. He made a price for the things. The time we're going to miss it. The time we're going to fail to obey. The time we're going to walk in way that doesn't love him. He still redeemed us. He still paid a price. Hallelujah. That we could not afford to pay. Hallelujah. It took nothing less than the blood of Jesus Christ sacrificed on that cross. See, at the end of the day, the Bible declares that the wages of sin 
Yes. How many of y'all know wages is payment? Right. The wages of sin yes. is death. Yes. Somebody got to pay. Back in the old days of the Old Testament, animals paid the price yes. for their sin, and things were covered over for a season. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. But when the New Testament came, uh -huh. we got a redeemer. Okay. His name is Jesus. Oh, yeah. And he washed away. Thank you. He washed away. Every sin. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. See, at the end of the day, being redeemed, it means saving someone from their sin or their error or the evil of their ways. Only God can do that. All right, all right. Only God can do that. And it's important to understand as we live our life every day, sometimes lest we forget that it is God who has done this thing. Because the Bible says in Romans 3 and 23, all have sinned. Right. Amen. 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 No, not one righteous. Amen. Amen. We all have missed it and done wrong. Amen. But God still said, I will redeem her. I will redeem him. I will bring them to myself. I will reconcile them to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed for purpose. I'm redeemed to receive something. Glory to God. I will submit to you today, hallelujah, the word of God in Isaiah, amen, 56 and 1. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be going to some scriptures, different ones. I want you to just see some things because I, I, I like that God is a God who plans stuff. He don't wait till the last minute. Listen, even the best laid plans, we plan, but stuff come up. How about that? Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know Jesus knew some stuff was going to come up? Yes, he did. But he was still on a mission. Yes. He was still going somewhere. Yes. He still had a plan to do what he said he was going to do. Yes. He said, I got to save my people. Yes. I got to make sure they have an opportunity to know yes. me in a personal way. Hallelujah. That's good stuff. That's good stuff for me. I don't know about nobody else. So I would submit to you Isaiah 56 and 1. And the Bible reads, it says, keep justice and do righteousness. For my salvation is about to come. Back in that day, he was prophesying. He used the prophet Isaiah. See, he wanted to tell us something. He wanted to create a sense. How about us? of expectancy. So we will begin to expect him, that we will begin to look for him. My Bible tells me there's a crown just for looking for Jesus. Are you looking for him this morning? Are you looking for him? Because he is your redeemer. I don't know about you, but some people don't want him to come. They still talk about I ain't ready. Give me one more day. He redeemed us for salvation. Yes, 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 and I will submit to you today that salvation is deliverance. All right. Somebody say deliverance. 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 Is there anything in your life that you need to be delivered from? Right. Come on, somebody. Come on. I know there got to be somebody in here who want me to overeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody else might have a little, little habit. I might not name that habit. Make you raise your hand if you say me. Right. I ain't going to make your name your head. All right, All right. I'm right. just saying he came to redeem us. He wanted to deliver us. Right. Thank you, Lord. So that deliverance Hallelujah. from our sin. Hallelujah. Listen, he said salvation is deliverance from sin yeah. and somebody say and. and. It's consequences. Right. It's consequences. How many of y'all know sin has consequences? How many of y'all know sin, hallelujah, can make you sick? Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not just talking about physical sick. It can make you mentally sick. It can make you ill and the minutes can't get with it. Because stuff going on in your life, you know it's not right. Sin has consequences. Those consequences affect not only you. Come on, see. See, Not true. only you, Come on, all right. but they affect your seed. How many of y'all know? You hear people talking about generational curses? Yeah, it affects your
your seed. All right. It affects those that come in behind you. Yes. I mean, I know some of the sin in your life might have been affecting somebody. Yeah. You better All right. All right. Hallelujah. Well. Hallelujah. He's redeemed us mm -hmm. you, for salvation. Come on, come on. He wanted to save us, but not just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. See, at the end of the day, God always had a plan and a purpose. To each one of us, he gave a ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted you to go out and tell somebody else that they might be saved. Yeah. Yeah. That they might be delivered from their sin. Yeah. That they might be able to come in and they draw somebody else and somebody else draw somebody else. Because they redeemed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. To receive salvation. Is that all right? That's all right. How many do you know anybody who needs to be saved today? All right. Is there anybody in your family? Is there anybody in your neighbor's family? Is there anybody on your job? Is there any of your co-workers who need to be saved today? Who need to know Jesus personally? All right. All right. My Lord. Come on, y'all. It's personal. Amen. It's personal. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I think about that often. When I meet people, I say, Lord, you know, if you come today, Will they make it in? Will they go home? See, it's all right. You, you can come to church and I, I can't tell your story. I don't know what it's like in your household. But see, every, every one of us is going to have to stand before the Lord. Every one of us is going to have to ask one day. Lord, is it I? Right. Am I the one who offended you? Am I the one who didn't do what you told me to do? Am I the one who didn't walk in my salvation? Am I the one who refused to be free when you set me free? Am I the one who went back on your work? Oh, But he redeemed us that we would be saved. All right, thank you. That we would be saved. And in that salvation, I want to tell y'all something. It is the wrath of God that he redeemed us from. That's right. Because he said his wrath is going to be poured out in this earth. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, we always talk about how he's a God of love. Amen, somebody? Amen. He's a God of love, yes? Yes. And yes? Amen. Are you glad about that he's a God of love? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that he's also a God of justice. Come on, yeah. Right. 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 Justice. Right. And there's payment oh, that yeah. has to be paid. Yeah. And Jesus already paid the price yeah. for our salvation. He paid the price for our soul. Yes. There's a consequence. All right now. He said, for those who have not received me, those who have not accepted me, guess what? I'm going to pour out my wrath. So we are saved from his wrath. Is that all right? Is that a good thing? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So I look over in Psalm 3. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Psalm the third, hallelujah, chapter, hallelujah, glory to God. And the eighth verse says, salvation belongs to the Lord. All right. All right. Your blessing is upon your people. Mm. Are y'all the people of God? Yes. Is the blessing of God on you? Listen, you ain't seen it, you don't sound like it. You don't sound like you're the blessing of the Lord. You don't sound like you know about it. See, because that's something to rejoice about. For blessing me. Thank you, Lord. For blessing me. The blessing of salvation. Thank you, Lord. The blessing of the consequences, being free from the consequences of my sin. The blessing that God has ordained for his people. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank this is the season, saints. Not only does he want you to be saved, he wants you to be people of faith. That's right. Come on, Listen, my Lord. He said, without faith, Come on, it is impossible, impossible to please him. All right, all right. Listen, God got a plan for you, but you're going to have to cooperate. Oh, Listen, yeah. he got something for you to do. Oh, Listen, you're not just here for no reason. He got you to, he wants you to believe him on, for the impossible. Yeah, he wants right. you to believe him to set the captives free. Yeah. He wants you to believe him to go into the nation. Listen, yeah. if you believe. Yeah. Come on, come on, my Lord. The only thing you got to do is believe. All right. Is believe. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans, amen. Mm -hmm. Romans 1. If you would turn over to Romans 1, amen. The Bible makes it plain, praise God, that for us to do the things of God, listen, listen, we have to be walking in our purpose. All right. All right. Or else we'll find ourselves doing everything except what God has called us to do. Amen, my Lord. Romans 1, verse 16 reads, 
Hallelujah. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. For the Jew first and also the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written. Shall live. By faith. All right. Yeah. Are you living by faith? Oh, See, at the end of the day, if you are the redeemed, if you've been set free, he said the only way you got to live now is by faith. See, but the problem in the midst of that is, instead of us really living by faith, we living by our pocketbook. No, oh, I don't have that. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, I can't do that. But God didn't tell us to live according to our pocketbook saints. Really? Listen, how many of y'all know? Let me, let me tell y'all real quick. That don't please God. Is that all right? My Lord. Huh? My Lord. I, 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 did y'all hear me? Right. I said God is not pleased with you limiting him right. to your pocketbook. Right. Do you not understand your pocketbook ain't big enough for God? All right. All right. Come on. Come on. All your money in the right. bank See? ain't good enough. It ain't big enough. All right, all right. Oh, uh, uh, y'all looking deep this morning. Hallelujah. He said by faith. He said faith to faith. Listen, he want to take you higher and higher. See, this redemption isn't a stagnant thing. It isn't a one-time show. He redeemed us to receive continually, continually, continually. He said, be being filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. He don't say a one-time one to come on right. somebody. Well, be being filled. He wants you to continue on, to on. grow therein. He yeah. said, I sent my gifts. All right, all right. Thank you, Lord. That you can grow thereby. Yeah. 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 He wants us growing, y'all. Yeah. He wants us growing in our redemption. Yeah. That every day we'll be able to lay aside yeah. just a little bit more. Thank we can lay aside. That thing that we thought was no. All right, all right. It's true. Ah, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, yeah, some strongholds in the lives oh, of the you. people of God. Come on, all right. Of those who don't know him. But I'm just here to tell you, you've been redeemed from it. It's just going to be your choice whether you receive it by faith. Come on. Whether you let him take you to the next level or whether you keep on talking the same thing you've been talking. Whether you keep on walking and I don't have enough money from one paycheck to one paycheck. Whether you keep on walking but I'm never going to find a good man. I'm never going to find a good woman. Whether you keep walking on I'm never going to get the promotion. Come on somebody. He said by faith. All things are possible to those who believe my marriage will be with God. Himself holds the heart of man in his hand. Come on, man. There is no man, no woman, too hard for the Lord. If you can believe. The redeemed of the Lord has the authority in the name of Jesus to call those things that be not. Yes. You can begin to speak over the heart of that right, man or that woman. Right, you can begin to speak over the heart of that child. Right. That child going through something in school. You don't even understand what's yes. going on. But you can begin to call on the name of Jesus. Yes. And say, God, I need you to help my yes. child. Right. I need you to touch his heart. I need you to fix it for him. Yes. And because you are the redeemed, yes. because you've been redeemed to receive the blessing of the Lord, the yes. salvation, and all that goes with it. All those things Thank to be out of God has given you that authority. Yes. If thou believe. Yes. In faith. In faith, you can't do it of yourself. My Lord. Hallelujah. It's our time, saints. Hallelujah. It's our time. We redeem to receive something. Yes. Listen, he don't want us on barely get along the street. Come on. I mean, right. I want to the head. That's real. Come on, somebody, the head. Woo! If I believe, mm -hmm. if I believe when I speak, when I pray, hallelujah, he'll say for the mountain to move. There's some things in your life, all God waiting for it to, to move is for you to say it. Come on, but you and you, you crying in your soup. Come on, Instead of saying, God, I need you to fix this. All right. I need you to move. Come on. I need you to make a way. Come on. I was telling them we were on the way to seven last words on, on Friday morning. 
And all, all we got to tell come and go with me. I was excited come to on. go to the noon day. Come on. Yeah. And when we were on, I, I went in that morning, I had a little business to take care of. And somebody told me that in DeKalb County that the business, the office opened at 7 30 a.m. Mm, so I said, I got time to get down there, get down there, and I'll be back quick, and I'll be able to do what else I got to do so I can be on time for the seven last words. Come I was ready. I wanted to be on time, y'all. Well, got to the office. The office was just as closed, y'all. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Just as closed as it right. could be. See? First thing I get there, I said, I'm, a, I'm trying to be the first one in line. I'm making it in there to get there before 7.30 so I can be standing at the door. You know, I'm ready. Get there to the door. The man checked me in. This is, it's a government building, so they got their security. And he said, um, you can wait over there. I was looking real confused. I'm like, it's a little bit before 7 30. I'm trying to get to the dock. See? He said, no, nah, we wait. And I noticed that other people are standing around. I said, oh, I, I ain't first. <laughs> Glory to God. I said, all right, all right. I go over and stand. 7 30, he opened the elevators, let us all go up. We go up. Everybody get off at the second floor. I'm the only one in the elevator going up to the fourth floor. <laughs> Feeling a little something, something. And I get there, and the fourth floor is dark, y'all. Mm. When they open the door for the seventh floor, the light, bright, everything, the fourth floor is dark. Mm. Big old GIS on them. I said, oh! Mm. A lady came around the corner, she said, ma'am, can I help you? I said, well, I was looking for the GIS department, but clearly it's not open. Mm. She said, oh, no, ma'am. She said, we don't open till 8.30. I said, oh, my come goodness. On, come on, come on. I just didn't have 8.30 time. Listen, I'm talking to you about having faith right now. Right? This story is about some faith right now. Come on. I done prayed over this situation and asked God for direction. Come on. Yeah. So the lady comes in the elevator. She said, what, what do you need? I'm, I'm looking at the thing real sad. I'm going to push the button and go back downstairs. But what I'm going to do now? And she says, what did you need? I said, well, I came to, to, to get some paper, to give some paper, to get some verification of this property that we own. She said, oh, yeah. She said, well, that's the right office. You need to see the GIS office. She said, I work in that office, but I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I, she said, I was on my way out the door to get me some breakfast. I said, well, all right, all right. That's, that's what I'm for. I said, hmm, I really don't have any more time for this today. I really need some assistance. And she said, you know what? Come on. I can take your information. I can take your information. Thank you. I can pass it on. Thank you. How do y'all know? Not only did she, we went down there, ain't nobody had no paper, nothing. She got the guard looking for paper. Everybody, we trying to get this. She take my stuff, and then she said, well, let me see your document. I'm talking about above and beyond, y'all. She said, let me see your paper. She said, well, I'll tell you what. I'll take that and make a copy of it. We go back up to the second floor where there's life. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And she makes a copy of my paperwork and she takes all my information. She said, so you don't have to come back. Yeah. I'm talking about God opening something for you. I'm talking about when you believe God to do a thing. He wants you to have it. He wants you to know in his word. He tells you, hey, Lord, I stand at the door and knock. Come on, come on. I'm here for you right now. All right. You, can receive, you ain't got to go to church. You ain't got to get in the church building come on, to come receive on. Christ. All right. Huh? All right. You ain't got to get in the church building. He can receive it. You can right now, yeah. listening, right now, sitting, you can receive Christ. But when you do, assemble yourself. With the saints. Come on. That's still Bible, y'all. Romans 10. Listen, know why he says that? Because he don't want to leave you out there by yourself for the enemy to destroy you. How many of y'all know the enemy will destroy you All right. alone? 
He's subtle. He's been doing it for over 2,000 two years. Listen, we, we babies in comparison. All right. But with Amen. God, with the body of believers, be it our brothers, keepers. Yeah. How many of y'all know we win every time? Yeah. We are the yeah. redeemed. We are redeemed to win. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And then I would just submit a thought process to you. Romans 5 and 5. We're redeemed Hallelujah. for love. Oh, We're redeemed for love. Come on. What kind of love must God have had for us? Mm, See, at the end of the day, y'all need to understand mm. something. We are redeemed for love. My Lord. How many of y'all know everybody want to be loved? Right. I don't care old, stinking, crusty, mm. attitude is woman, it. man, whatever, still want to be loved. That's you it. don't want to tell nobody because you feel like ain't nobody been to love me. Right. You don't even feel like you're lovable, but you right. still desire it. The word of God reads in Romans 5 and 5 it says, Now hope does not disappoint. Hallelujah. Not when your hope is in Jesus. I'm just saying. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Listen, when He saved us, we received His Holy Spirit. He didn't leave us comfortless. He said, I got to go because I got to send you a comforter. I got to send somebody who will lead you and guide you into all true. I got to let you receive my presence in your life. All right, all right. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. See, it was important to him Amen. that we love, that we know that we are loved, that we understand we're to love one another. He said, for God so loved the world. All right. He loved the world, saints. He didn't love us just because we was perfect. Well, he didn't love us because we never did nothing wrong. He didn't love us because we was the best one. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not so. In fact, his love extended so much Come to on. us that his own son, he allowed him to be crucified for us. His own son on. died on the cross on. to show how much he loved us. Yeah. And then he shared that love upon the heart. Yeah. Listen, so we don't have to be about ourselves all the time. On, so we can on. begin to think about, hallelujah, where somebody God brought us from all and right. how he allowed us to be here. Yeah. And if it wasn't yeah. for the Lord on our side, we wouldn't yeah. be here. But because he loves us anyway, he doesn't give us what we deserve. Yeah. He pours out his love on us. Yeah. Lord, God. I don't know about you. But I'm so glad about it. Yeah. See, I'm so glad that his love is not like man's love. Yeah. Cause man's love is fickle. Oh, if I do right, I might get some love. Yeah. Uh -huh. come, on, come, come on, somebody. Come on, come on. Come on. all right. If I didn't say the right thing, mother, mm -hmm. brother, it might not be no love. Mm -hmm. all right. All right. I'm just saying, That's real. if I didn't do the right thing, uh -huh. if I missed it, mm -hmm. but how many of y'all know that no matter what, God still love us. Uh, no matter what he did to us. Uh, he said, I'm married uh, to the black line. Uh, no matter what, uh, I still got you in my sight line. I'm still caring for you. I'm still sending my grace and mercy your way. I'm still calling for your daughter, uh, my son. Uh, I'm still pulling at you. I'm a gentle spirit. Uh, I'm a gentle presence in your life. Uh, because I want you to receive. I redeemed you that you might receive. Yes. Hallelujah. Everything that belongs to you. Everything that belongs to you. What do you mean, Pastor Vanessa? Listen. Listen. In Genesis, everything that Adam and Eve had. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. God wants you to have. My Lord. Pastor, what you don't, what you talking about? We ain't want to be in no God. But oh how sweet it was. Think about this. Everything that was lovely, that was beautiful, that was gorgeous, it was in the garden. Every need was met. Come on, it was fellowship day and night with the Father. Yeah. Listen, listen, Adam and Eve was one. Come on, Come on somebody. Right. All the married people in here are jump up and say hallelujah. In the garden, they were one. How many of y'all know God wanted the married people to be one? How many of y'all know every need 
was provided. Yeah. Listen, they wasn't wanting for anything. Thank you, Lord. Listen, they didn't even know they was naked, so they sure wasn't looking for no Gucci. All right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Huh? They wasn't looking for no Calvin Klein. Right. Honey, what they had was better than that. All right. Listen, All right. listen we worry about no rolls over here, no uh -huh. this and that, no show. Oh, no no oh, come on, somebody. All right. In the garden, it was good and very good. Right. It was good and very good. Amen. Listen, wasn't no complaint. Listen, I'm telling you. Listen, Adam wasn't rolling up on Eve like this, baby. <laughs> no, I wish you a pound or two. <laughs> well, she, she wasn't, she wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't rolling up on Adam like this. Baby, I want you to grow your hair back. <laughs> relationship right, somebody. Right. He wanted us to begin to listen, be in a place with him yeah. where we walk as the redeemed. He said the redeemed sit in heavenly places. Oh, yeah. listen, he got a place up there for you. Listen, that you would have a God perspective. Yeah. That you would understand what you're supposed to receive. Yeah. You have redemption. Hallelujah. Yeah. He paid the price. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm. They paid the price. Thank you. And he considered it so important. He considered it so important, y'all. That he denied nothing for it. Thank you, Lord. What in your life is so important mm. that you would give up everything? Come on, see. Mm. All right. Is there Not anything? Lord. This is your moment of reflection right now. Mm. Is there anything mm. in your life that you would give up everything for? Come on. Mm. You would give up your house, your car, every My piece Lord. of clothes you got, and your wife, your everything for. Is there anything? Mm. Mm. He gave up everything. everything. He left deity. He left his throne in glory. He gave up everything. Woo! Knowing even at a moment time on that cross, he was about to give up his relationship with the Father for a moment that we might be redeemed. And he considered us. He considered you that important. Thank you, God. He considered you more important yes. than his very life. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. you would have an opportunity to choose. Thank you, Lord. See, you don't understand what this redemption means because all of us had a ticket. Come on. There was a ticket with a one-way place. All right, come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. We didn't have an option. My Lord. Come on, somebody. Yes. We didn't have a choice. Yes. But he sacrificed his life. He redeemed us only for the choice that we would get to choose him. All right, all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank now he allows you, us to choose. Oh, hallelujah. He takes us all the way back to the beginning. Oh, where Adam and Eve were. And he said, here's everything in the garden. My Lord. One thing, not that. Choose anything else. Anything. He brought that choice right back to us. Yes. Thank you, Lord. On the day that he died. My Lord, my Lord. And he rose again. He said, choose. Come on, come on. He said, I'm redeeming. I'm putting a redemption stamp on your ticket right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you get to choose to receive yes, Lord. my love. Yes. You get to choose to receive my salvation. You get to choose to receive faith in God. You get to choose to receive what I have right. redeemed yes. you to have. Yes. I yes. redeemed that you will be laid at your feet. All right, all right. Oh, Come on. Yes. We choose. See, at the end of the day, it's personal. Yes, Lord. Every man is going to have to decide for himself. I'm closing with this next scripture. I just want you to understand something. At the end of the day, the only thing when you stand before God that's going to matter is going to be whether you chose Him. 
We women, we men, we worry about whether we choose the right husband, the right wife. We worry about whether we're going to choose the right school to go to, whether we're going to choose the right, the right church. You know? Whether we're going to choose right so many things. Yes. The right state to live in, the right job to take. But at the end, in that day, only one thing is going to matter. One thing is going to matter, and that's going to be how we chosen the first part. That's right. How we chosen him. Right. Listen, that was a big price to pay for a choice. Yes, Lord. He Come knew on. some would, and he knew some wouldn't. All right, all right. But be, will you be one of those who will? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you willing? Listen, I love it because he doesn't even ask you to be perfect. Mm -hmm. He said, just strive for it. Mm -hmm. He said, just strive for perfection. He said, my grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. For every situation you find out yourself in debt, but for the grace of God, Amen. their hearts, my Lord, no diff definitely not better than anyone else. He paid that price just for the choice, saints. He redeemed us that we would choose to escape the power of sin, that we would choose to love Him wholly. All right, man. That we would choose all that He has for us. Proverbs 4 and 22. And the Bible reads, I'm, I'm going to start at 20 because I, you might not get the point, but 20 says, My son, give attention to my words. All right. So everybody understand, we're talking about the words of God. Give uh -huh. attention to my words. Pay attention. Listen. Listen, son. Listen, listen, listen. Give attention to my word. I'm reading verse 20, Proverbs 4, 20. It says, incline your ear to my sayings. All right. How many of y'all know this is a good word for the day? All right. Incline your ears to the word of God. All right. Incline your ear to what God has to say. He says, do not let them, my word, depart from your eyes, but keep them in the midst of your heart. Because I'm in his word. He said, for they are life. Life. To those who find them. My Lord. And help to Lord all their flesh. Jesus. Understand something. His word is life and health to us. His right. word is deliverance from sickness. Yeah. His word is salvation. Yeah. His word yeah. is deliverance. Yeah. His word is freedom. His word yeah. is power. His word is love. Yeah. His word. Yeah. The word redeemed us. The word has set us free. The word makes us whole. The word. Yeah. The word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Has brought us to this place. Oh, yes. Listen, it's not you. You didn't do it for yourself. No. Truly, if it wasn't for the Lord, you wouldn't be here. Some of us should have been dead. We've been in accidents. Things have happened. But I'm just here to tell you, saints, you have been redeemed for me. You have been redeemed to receive from the Lord. Listen, that what the Lord has for you, it is for you. Come on, all Listen, right, it's all important right. that you get a hold to that. Because God is wanting you to expect something, to begin to grasp something, to begin to allow him to do some things in your life, to begin to let him change some stuff so you can get what you've been predestined for. Listen, Woo! the promises of our right. shot. All right. Yay, 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 yay. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, Thank you, Come on, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, there is nothing I can say that your word has not already made point. But I'm just here today as a vessel. And I want you to understand, before you leave this place, God has said, choose ye this day. 